Hello, in this video we are going to look at environment variables and how to use the different commands in a Unix terminal. Though I'm using a Mac, you can use literally any Unix machine that has a terminal, so if you have Linux, that's a okay with Ubuntu and with Mac and other, like, like I said, Unix based machines that have access to a terminal. So first of all, what is an environment variable? You probably already know, but for those of you that don't, an environment variable, the best way to think of it is like a global variable that can be used by different applications. Because usually, let's say you're creating a piece of software or a game or anything really, and you have a variable inside it. So let's say I'm creating Skype, and it has a variable called username. Spotify can't use that variable from Skype because it's limited to Skype. Technically there's ways of getting around that to, to share data, but generally speaking you can't share environment variables, I mean variables between applications. Whereas environment variables aren't linked to a specific application, they're linked to your computer, your environment. And as a result, they can be used by different applications. You might be wondering, what could be a use of this? I'm sure you used applications that do something on your computer like write something to a desktop or your documents or something along those lines but you haven't actually given the path to documents or desktop because it's not always it's not always the same it's like documents for example you'll be different based on users and you can have literally any sort of username so as a result how does it know where to save a file retrieve a file that sort of stuff you'll use something like environment variables. So let's say if we had an environment variable for desktop, Photoshop needs to do something, and we don't have to set the path for desktop in Photoshop, you can do it. Same with Xcode, same with Skype, same with Spotify, Chrome, that sort of stuff. So that's what an environment variable is. Even though we've sort of spoke about it as storing paths, they don't have to, they can store data as well. They can store numbers. We're at, that's what we'll actually do when we set an environment variable will just store some numbers you can store any sort of string really if you want more information about environment variables then if you do a quick google search you'll get loads or just ask us on our education platform sonarlearning.co.uk first of all now let's look at retrieving a list of existing environment variables so to do that make sure you've obviously got terminal opened up do print env and now as you can see we've got a bunch of environment variables from shell to log name to display to home so you can also get a complete list of shell variables to do that you put set and this is a bit more advanced you will most likely just be dealing with print env so let's just clear that so we got print env where there we go, we got a bunch of different environment variables. You might be thinking, how do I just print out the data for a specific environment variable? Do I have to print out these, and especially if you've got loads, you might even have hundreds of them, you don't want to be filtering through all of this. To do that, you put echo, dollar, and now the environment variable that you want to print. So I'm going to put home, home, as you can see, it's printed out for slash users for slash sonar systems. That's how you retrieve a specific environment variable. So how do we set our own environment variable? Very simple stuff. First of all, you want to run this command. Touch this squiggly line. I believe it's called the tilde. For slash dot bash. If it's not called tilde, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. Profile. And what this command simply does is creates a file called bash profile in your user which is users for slash whatever your username is for me it's users for slash sonar systems if it doesn't exist it, do, it doesn't delete it and create a new one so it's a okay to run it several times it's just recommended that i always run it before i do anything just to make sure it exists but really once you've done it once it should be a okay unless you've deleted it manually and now to actually open up bash profile you do nano tilde for slash dot bash underscore profile and as you can see we are in this little environment right here let me just delete this existing code so in here you put what you want to do so whether it's deleting environment variable setting environment variable that sort of stuff so let's 
let's set an environment variable and to set it you put export the environment variable name I'm going to put var56 equals and I'm just going to set it to a number 89 to save this file now you just do control x now it asks do you want to save it I'm just going to put yes now it's just going to confirm the file name you want to leave that as it is click enter and now you want to run this file because if you don't run the file the changes in there will not get committed to your environment variables because if I were to do echo dollar var I believe it was 58 I shouldn't have used such a stupid name I believe it was that though actually I'm just gonna open it up just to make sure var 56 <laughs> yeah I shouldn't have used a stupid name but okay I know which one it is now okay so what do do the do, var 56 as you can see it's not printing anything out an environment variable that doesn't exist it will just return an empty string so to run this file you do source tilde for slash dot bash underscore profile and now I can echo it out and it's echoed out 89 there's another way of opening up the bash profile you can use open instead of nano you do tilde for slash dot bash underscore profile and this opens it up in a text editor. I usually use this method because it's, it's just a lot easier to use a mouse with this, but that's just personal preference. You might be wondering, okay, we've created an environment variable. We've got a bunch of environment variables. How do we update an environment variable? Simple. You just do the exact same steps that we did for setting an environment variable. So there's nothing really to show for that. And finally, how do you delete an environment variable? variable so I'll show you the exact same steps or all the steps that are required you want to run the command touch for slash dot bash and score profile this just makes sure this just makes sure that the file exists but again you can admit if you know that it exists you want to do nano or open so I'm just going to do open do the for slash dot bash underscore profile and now in here, let's get rid of that. To delete any environment variable, you do unset the variable name. So for us, it's var56. Save that. And remember, unless we use the source command to actually run our bash profile, the environment variable will still exist, as you can see. But if I run it using the source command, and now echo it out, we get nothing. So that's a quick video on deleting environment variables, setting environment variables. We briefly spoke about updating them because it's the same as setting them, how to retrieve environment variables and what they are. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description, plus there'll be another link in the description to all of the commands we've used in written form. So if you want to check them out, if you like this video, we'll appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment as well. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.